Hey Glass, this is a quick little demo that you can do to do what's called the iodine clock reaction. It's a, it's a really fun, colorful demo. And you don't need a lot of really tough supplies to get. We need some iodine. We need some vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid. And we need some hydrogen peroxide and some liquid starch and distilled water. That's all we need. So step one, we gotta make the first solution. I take the iodine, I've got five milliliters and I put it into a beaker. And now I'm going to add in some distilled water because the chlorine in tap water messes with the reaction. So you want to use distilled. I'm going to fill it up to 100 milliliters. Now I'm going to take regular over the counter hydro uh, hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to put 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide in here. And next I'm going to put in some distilled water to top it off to about 100 milliliters of that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I've got roughly the same amount of liquid in bulk. Now in the hydrogen peroxide one, I'm taking liquid starch and I'm gonna put just a little bit of liquid starch in here. And the starch is going to react with the iodine, but we're gonna put it on a delay. So it's going to react after a pause. So first cool thing about this reaction is the Asorbic acid, the vitamin C, will have a reaction with iodine and it's going to make it go clear. So I'm gonna put in some of the asorbic acid in here and the iodine is gonna lose its color. Okay, so the iodine is now clear. Now, Chloe's gonna help me with the last step here, which is the combination. So we have our iodine solution we have our starch solution and we're gonna combine them together and it's gonna be on a delay. So it's not gonna react instantaneously. So I want you, you can take my seat. You're gonna combine them and you're gonna stir back and forth. Okay, so stir back and forth. Now hold it up to the camera. Show the real time here, because people don't believe how fast this actually happens. So there you go. So that is the iodine clock reaction. I hope you enjoyed it.